Hello everyone, this is A Stocky here. Welcome to another, I guess this fits in the category of tutorial video. For those of you who watched my Let's Play Part 10 for the Technics Pack 6, you'll note that I mentioned that there was a number of issues that I had with getting equivalent exchange to work now that I have the updated version on there, that it seemed to be forgetting everything about my uh, enchanting, no not enchanting, my transmutation tablet or table. So basically what I'm going to do now is run you through the process of how to get that to work and I thought while I was doing that I would also show you what may or may not be required to get the single player save that I uploaded to work for you. So the very first thing you need to do is go to where you have installed uh, the Technics pack. So in this case it's like technic launcher in your app data roaming. In there you'll have a folder called Technic SSP which is the single player version. If you open that up, that is all of the files that make up your Technics Pack install. Double click on the Saves folder. Let's pretend that I don't have that folder there. So you will take the zip file that I have. And here it is. And then what you would do is you would drag and drop that and copy it. I'll say no because I don't want to because I, I already have that there. And this is a newer version. But then you would have Technics installed in your save. And now when you open Minecraft up, you'll see that you can open it up. Now, for anyone who wants to merge to the new version, to get the enchanting table to work, what you have to do is go into whatever your save is called. It'll be different for you if you've named your world something else. And at the top there is a folder called data, or data, depending on how you say it. What you need to do is you need to go into that area, and there will be a folder, tablet, underscore, whatever your username is. So if you want to get all of my, I guess the things that I have taught my tablet to work when you open it up in your Minecraft, you will need to change that name there to something other than a stocky to whatever your Minecraft username is. And then you will need to do the same thing here for this bag. If you want my uh, alchemist bag to be able to keep its inventory, although I believe at the time I had nothing in it, so it shouldn't really make a difference for you. But renaming those two folds will get it to work for you. If you are updating from an old world and you want it to work, what you have to do is make sure there's nothing in your bag because it will lose everything that's in your bag when you first up when you first update. You also need to get this file and delete it. There is also a file on there, something along the lines of uh, knowledge.dat or knowing.dat. I think it's knowledge. Yeah, knowledge sounds just right. So you need to get that particular file. Actually, what I might do is I might see if the old save from my last Technics pack has that in there. No, it does not. Um, Technics pack, let's play. Maybe this one has it. No, okay, so... There's definitely a file in there. Um, it's called something very similar to, there we go, knowledge.dat. So that's the file, and that file there, you want to delete those two files when you update from an older version to a, to a newer version, of, which is equivalent exchange 2. And at the same time as doing that, you want to go into your world and pick up any transmutation tablets that you've placed down because it, it seems to create these files when you place the tablet down and makes it work correctly so the way I would suggest doing it is go into your world pick up your tablet so it's sitting in your inventory then quit out of the game go to here delete those two files place your tablet back down and then teach it everything you want it to know under the new equivalent exchange too what that will do Actually, what I'm just showing you here is all of my backups. You can see that I keep backups of pretty much every world that I have. And I've got this little script that does it for me automatically. So you can see there it's back now. And it is correctly configured there without the knowledge.dat file. So hopefully that will work for everyone. And you can now use my save game and you'll have everything configured for yourself that you can use under your username. And you'll also know how to upgrade your own worlds so that you can change from the old version to the new version without hitting the same troubles that I was hitting. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial video. hope it was very helpful. Please feel free to post in the comments if you have any problems, and I'll try and work you through them. Again, this is A Stocky here. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.